Hello everyone, this is Nihal and uh, now we are going to solve the 2B question of paper 2 of Maths Optional UPSC Civil Service Examination 2022 and it, said, it says that prove that every homomorphic image of a group G is isomorphic to some quotient group of G. So let F be a homomorphism. on G. Now we need to prove that homomorphic image of G FG is isomorphic to some quotient group of G and let that quotient group be G mod kernel of F. We need to prove that these two groups are isomorphic. So let us define a function phi from G mod kernel of F to F of G. Let us give a name G1 to F of G such that phi of G kernel of f is equal to f of g so this is the definition of phi now we want to prove that phi is an isomorphism for that we need to prove four things first phi is well defined second phi is an homomorphism third phi is 1 1 and fourth is phi is 1 2 so first let us uh, prove that a phi function is well defined function for that we take two elements of domain which are equal and we will prove that their image will also be equal so that g1 kernel of f is equal to z2 kernel of f that implies g1 inverse g2 kernel of f is equal to kernel of f so by pro property of cosets g inverse g2 belongs to kernel of f that implies f of g inverse g2 is equal to identity of fg so since f is an homomorphism so it can be written as f of g1 inverse f of g2 is equal to identity that implies since f is an homomorphism inverse can be taken out so f of g1 inverse f of g2 is equal to identity that can be written as f of g2 is equal to f of g1 so which is uh, same as phi of g2 kernel of f is equal to phi of g1 kernel of f hence uh, we have proved that this phi is well defined Now we need to prove that this phi is a homomorphism. For that, let let g1 kernel of f and g2 kernel of f belongs to g mode kernel of f. The, these are two elements and for homomorphism we prove that phi of a b is equal to phi of a into phi of b so g1 kernel of f into g2 kernel of f is equal to phi of g1 g2 kernel of f which is equal to 
by the definition of phi z1 z2 since f is an homomorphism it can be written as f of z1 into f of z2 which is uh, same as phi of z1 kernel of f into phi of z2 kernel of f so we have proved that proved that uh, phi of a b is equal to phi of a into phi of b that implies that phi is a homomorphism now we need to prove that phi is in uh, one one function for that let us assume that g1 and g2 belongs to g and the image of for that let us assume that g1 kernel of f and g2 kernel of f belongs to g mode kernel of f so let us assume that their image is equal phi of z1 kernel of f is equal to phi of g2 kernel of f that implies that f g1 is equal to f g2 that implies that f g1 inverse into f of g2 is equal to identity of f g that implies that f of z1 inverse g2 since f is an homomorphism we can take inverse inside and that g1 uh, g2 together is equal to that implies that g1 inverse g2 belongs to kernel of f which implies that g2 in g1 inverse g2 kernel of f is equal to kernel of f by the property of cosets which implies that g2 kernel of f is equal to g1 kernel of f so we have taken image equal and see we have shown that uh, their pre image is also equal so that implies that phi is one one function now for on to ness let us take an image and uh, show that uh, there, there exists pre image for every element of fg so let fg belongs to f of g that homomorphic image of g and for fg there exist g kernel of f in g mode kernel of f such that phi of g kernel of f is equal to fg we have defined phi in such a, in such a way that that means every fg has a pre image as g kernel phi kernel f so phi is on to function hence phi is an isomorphism so we have shown that phi is uh, a isomorphism from g mode kernel f to fg which shows that the homomorphic image of a group g that is fg is isomorphic to a quotient group of g that is g mode kernel of f here the catch is that uh, that formation of quotient group uh, is a uh, tricky that quotient group we need to take uh, the kernel of f is a, a normal subgroup and then we form the g mode kernel of f as a uh, quotient group and this is known as the first isomorphism theorem of uh, group theory so thank you very much guys and uh, the telegram group discussion group link is uh, mentioned in the description 
so please join that channel uh, you can ask your doubt there uh, i will be happy to solve your doubt thank you